were off the cruise ship. It was sad to say goodbye and it was a bit chaotic because with us never having done cruises before, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, disembarking on disembarkation. Um, but we are back. We went to the Animal Kingdom, dropped off our stuff, quickly had a change of costume, a change of mini ears. And we are now in Hollywood studio, about to do Galaxy's Edge for the first time. Um, the nephews have done it, my parents have done it because they stayed in Walt Disney World whilst we were on the cruise. Um, so, me, Tom and G, we've never done it before. And Tom, obviously being a massive Star Wars fan, I'm a Star Wars fan, but nowhere near as big of a Star Wars fan as my brother is, so he is gonna love it. I'm, I'm excited to see if he cries or not. I feel like he might get emotional. See you there. Please pay attention to the following safety information. When the automatic doors have opened, please proceed directly across the ramp into the cabin. Continue to move all the way across your aisle, filling in every available seat. Galactic regulations require that all carry-on items be safely stowed beneath your seats. To fasten your restraint, use the yellow strap to pull the belt out from the right side of the seat and snap the belt into the buckle on your left. For your safety, remain seated throughout your flight with your restraints securely fastened. And please watch your children. <gasps> oh my goodness! There's still pod racing. Ah, oh, the pod racing one's the best! Yeah! I like going to Hoth as well. Plus you can go to Xbox. Whoa! What? Oh, yes, I have a 
and feeling about this. Disembark immediately and proceed to the right for processing. Get off the ship. Get out. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bobby, what are we gonna do? Oh, <laughs> we will learn the location of your secret resistance base. Judging by the looks of you, it won't take long. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance business. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally.
no escape. You will tell me the location of the secret base, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. of the resistance which was unbelievable and we're about to do smugglers run but i'm going to put my camera away for smugglers run um just because i think there's a lot of button pressing that i need to do according to uh buzz and buddy um so i'm going to be the engineer and uh, i will see you after smugglers run I did not charge my camera with the right charger last night, so let's see how long this holds out. Um, but we are off to Epcot today, which is my favorite park. I'm very excited. I'm opting out of ears today, just because behind my ears is starting to hurt a little bit. That is the knock on the door for my family to collect me. Let's go. The stinky dragon ride? Yeah. Stinky dragon ride. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. And with that line G and G and D, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. Once part of light, can light your fancy. Your mind sees more. works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast!
we're about to do Cosmic Rewind Guardians of the Galaxy, which I've been excited for forever. It looks like I'm magically in Hollywood Studios, <laughs> which I kind of am. Um, we did a few rides in uh, Epcot, including Cosmic Rewind, which was one of my favorite rides. It is my favorite ride. Nothing will ever beat Haunted Mansion, but Cosmic Rewind. She's called Felix. He keeps calling me Felix, I don't know why. Cosmic Rewind, my God. It was unbelievable. Um, then it poured down, so we all went back to the hotel to like dry off, change clothes, and say goodbye to Giovanna because today was her last day in the parks with us. Um, so now we are in Hollywood Studios because the boys want to do all the Star Wars stuff again. Um, but it is again it's about to rain. Um, but we're going to go eat in Star Wars. At, I think it's called Docking Bay Seven. So I will show you the food when we get there. Good morning! Today is the day we go to the Animal Kingdom. My nephews have already been, but Tom and I have not. Giovanna left yesterday to go home back to the UK because she's got some stuff um, booked in that she couldn't move, so she is back in the UK now. But we all extended our trip a little bit past the cruise so we could enjoy Walt Disney World as a family together. But obviously really gonna miss G. G is so much fun in these parks, so I'm gonna ride a bunch of stuff for her. Vlogging is very hard when you're auntie to Huey, Dewey and Louie, especially because they're at an age now where Auntie Carrie is cool. And I don't know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> Soon they will be teenage boys who think I'm really boring or weird or uncool. But at the moment, I'm cool. And they all wanna sit next to me on rides. So I am enjoying that, but it does mean that my attention is fully on enjoying that and being with my nephews. And I don't want that to be ruined by getting my camera out and focusing on vlogging or capturing the moment instead of living the moment, if that makes sense. I'm hungry. I'm gonna see what my family are up to because I want a cream cheese bagel. See you in a bit. verdict tell me if you've tried the green or blue milks but the green one that's my fave mm. green definitely green good morning so i'm up earlier than the rest of my family which is why i might look slightly slightly bleary eyed and still feel the sleep in my eyes this is the outfit of today i really like this dress so i thought i'd give it a little outing to epcot but do not be fooled there are chub rub shorts underneath Woo -hoo. These are from Snag Tights, highly recommend. They do them in lots of pretty colors and they stop my thighs from being best friends. It's like two best friends that get separated in class. Hello, so I'm in Epcot this morning. I have come in two hours ahead of my family because they don't get picked up by the VIP tour guide, which we are very lucky to have, um, until 10 o'clock. But we had park reservations for Epcot today anyway. So I thought I'd come in at rope drop and just see what I could get on ahead of my family, just because there's certain things that the kids don't want to do or that are like super boring. I also just love what I call a mooch. 
I just love to mooch about. Um, whereas when we're with the kids, it's sort of like, which ride next to kind of keep them entertained and excited. Um, so I'm just gonna mooch for a bit. I've just had a look at Cosmic Rewind um, and sadly it's only Lightning Lane and Virtual Queue. There's no like standby line. I could just go and stand in for a bit. Um, but because we are very lucky to have the VIP tour guide, we might get on that later with her. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna mooch for a bit. I really wanna go on Spaceship Earth and I know my nephews will not wanna go on that. So um, I'm gonna do that. These are also new. Uh, this is the Creation Shop and the Connections Cafe. I say new, I've just never seen them. So I might go and grab myself some breakfast in Connections and a coffee and then mooch. I just did a little bit of shopping in the pin traders over there because uh, me and my nephews have a little pin thing going on. But now it's happening. I'm getting on Spaceship Earth before the queue gets crazy. <laughs> Just one. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover? history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. So let's travel back in time together. Our ship moves faster than ever before. a super quick FaceTime with Mr. John Montague, my lovely boyfriend. Uh, whilst he is in Hamilton, he's just getting ready for his first show of a double show day. But now I've told him to go away because I want to go on the Grand Fiesta tour <laughs> in Mexico.
I'd love Thank to trade you. something if yeah, that's cool. Yeah, of course. Cool. Which one would you like? Number seven okay. with Number my seven. little Figaro and Minnie. This one is pretty cool. I love it. Yeah, yeah there's actually a whole collection of like little just kingdom of cute and just like attractions that have little smileys. Oh, and you'll so keep, keep your back, back right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that way. Clever. Keep it safe. Awesome. I like well, thank you so much. You were my first ever pin oh trade. Oh my gosh. Oh. I am honored. So my dear friend Emma Kingston gave me the challenge. You're talking to my shadow right now, I hope that's okay. My dear friend Emma Kingston gave me the challenge to find a Jessica Rabbit pin for her. But the rights to Roger Rabbit have been, um, haven't been Disney's for a while. I don't really know the deal there, but there was a time when you could meet Roger Rabbit and you no longer can, so I didn't know if I'd be able to find one. Well, da 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 da, Emma Kingston challenge completed I have found you your Jessica Rabbit pin I'm not bad I'm just drawn that way So on his own in the queue. He was retired, so he was of retirement age, um, and he was very big on community theatre. I didn't say anything about that's what I, I did, he just told me. <laughs> uh, I didn't say anything about me doing theatre, he just told me that he was very into community theatre, and then we had a chat about all the plays that he's done. Um, and I love that that was without me saying anything about my job, like he just wanted to chat about community theatre, which I thought was super cute. Um, and told me all about his trip to London that was coming up and he was just the cutest. So Bob from Ohio, who now lives in Orlando, you're amazing. Thanks for keeping me company on Ratatouille. Um, it is now, what's the time? It's coming up to 12 o'clock, which is when my family are all leaving Animal Kingdom Lodge and coming into Epcot. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on mooching until they arrive now. Um, all the lines are a little bit too long. Um, oh, and Minnie Mouse has just arrived. She's super cute. Kind of wish I was wearing my spotty dress because if I was, I'd get in the queue. But um, I've just got myself some water. I think I'm going to get a couple snacky bits and pieces before I meet my family because I'm assuming that we'll have lunch together. And uh, yeah, updates to come. I just also went shopping and got um, a pop socket and a mug for Joel and a magic band for Scott because Scott is coming with me to Walt Disney World later on this year so I'm getting him ready and kitted out before he gets here. I just got myself a chocolate Kringler. I've taken a bite and it's unbelievable so I got that from uh, the Kringler um, bakery 
in uh, Norway. Highly recommend. I was torn between the school bread or this, but I asked and they said this, and it's great. home from Disney World. I'm wearing my Castaway Key t-shirt. I have these shorts on which I will I will add a clip. I'm not going to stand up now because I've just got comfy. Um, I will add a clip of my amazing Haunted Mansion pyjama shorts. I don't think they're meant to be pyjama shorts but I wear them as pyjama shorts. Um, I know that this vlog was very chop and change, sporadic, mess. It was a mess. This vlog is a mess. It's just a higgledy-piggledy hodgepodge of Disney fun. That vlog is a result of having three small nephews. They, they are the human Huey, Dewey and Louie. <laughs> My wonderful three nephews, Buzz, Buddy and Max, are just extraordinary little humans. And it is so much fun Experiencing just the world through their eyes, but seeing Disney specifically through their eyes is so much fun. And I am currently their cool Auntie Carrie, or Auntie Felix, as they called me on that trip. I am what I haven't seen them since the trip because as soon as I got back, I we all just dove straight back into work and normal life madness. Um, so I've not actually seen them since the trip, so I don't know if the Auntie Felix thing has ca is gonna carry over into normal life outside of the world of Disney. But for the whole trip they called me Auntie Felix, which is something that Buddy coined, and I don't know where that came from the depths of his little mind, but I kind of love it, so there we go. But I'm currently their cool Auntie Felix, and they all want to spend time with me, and they want to sit next to me on rides, and I don't know how long that's gonna last. The older they get, the less cool I may become. I don't know. That might not be the case, but that might be the case. And if it is the case, I want to revel in this time whilst I can. And also just the practicality of three small humans. There isn't a lot of time to get your camera out because you've got to be holding their hands or you've got to be helping them out of rides or onto rides or buying them pin badges and ice creams, you know what I mean? And I'm not sorry, I wouldn't trade any of those moments for a better vlog. So, you'll get what you're given, but I just wanted to round up the vlog <laughs> uh, and basically just say, I just had the best time, obviously, if you couldn't tell by watching these videos. I am so unashamedly a Disney adult, and I just don't care because the joy that I get from Disney, the joy that I get from spending time with my family in Disney specifically, um, it's second to none. Me and my brother have been going there since our childhood. Our parents are amazing and, you know, got us to Disney World quite a lot when we were kids. It also has an added element of nostalgia. You know, there's certain rides that I go on that I kind of know are questionable nowadays because they're not as, uh, like the animatronics aren't as good or the graphics aren't as good or, you know, they're just like rickety old rides now. But I love them because of the nostalgia because I remember going on those rides with my parents as kids or I remember going on that roller coaster with my brother and we went on it 12 times in a row because the park was empty and we made ourselves feel sick or you know stuff like that those memories 
that I associate with Disney. That's why I love going back there so much. And nothing makes me happier than being able to introduce that place to a new person. So yeah, I, I love Disney, is basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> and I will never understand these people who are like, ugh, Disney adults, uh, aren't you too old for Disney? People talk about Disney adults as if they enjoy clubbing seals, like it's Disney. Enjoying animated features and roller coasters in a place where people dress up like Mickey Mouse, it's, it's fine. No one's doing any harm. Let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. There is so little happiness <laughs> to be had in the world these days. Just let people like Mickey Mouse, for God's sake.